Flight AA107 from London Heathrow to New York JFK is now boarding. Flight AA107 is ready for boarding now. No crying, safe flying. No crying, safe flying. Just like Uncle Phil said, he said it'd be fine. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome aboard. Once you have located your seat, we ask you to please step out of the aisle. Passengers behind you can pass you. This will actually be behind you. There's no one picking air apart from me. Your large carry-on items need to go in the overhead compartment. Yeah. Your smaller ones underneath the seat in front of you. Yeah. Keeping all exits and aisles clear. Oh, yeah. yeah you can... If you need assistance, please contact the flight attendant. Assistance? <laughs> I feel Neville once. I mean, I thought she could be much worse, honestly. I mean, he was. Yeah. I mean, get. Yeah. Can I offer you today's newspaper, sir? No, I've got a book, so... No problem. All right, good. Lovely. Wait, is that lovely? Oh, Piggy neck. Is that Ben Sports News? Sir, please stay oh, no. seated and fasten no, your no, seatbelt. We're about to no, take off. No, no, I've off. got... To... Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll ring in. I'll... Hmm. Ben Sports News. Dr. Ben GFM. Long time no speak. Yeah, are you, are you on a plane right now? No. So you're not on flight AA 107 to New York? Yes, I am. Yes. You just said you weren't on a plane. Well, I'm not on a plane. I'm inside a plane. <sighs> so am I. Are you? I can't see you. Yeah, I am. Are you sure you're on this plane? I'm behind you. <gasps> you poor thing. Oh, I know life can be tough back there in economy. Do you, would, you, would you like my newspaper? No, thank you. Got that covered. Yes. Anyway, why are you in New York? Well, I've got a job, haven't I? You know, presenting the news. They love the news over there in America. It's perfect. <laughs> I've got a job in New York too. Well, this really is perfect. You should come out tonight with me and Hugh. Hang on, who is Hugh? Hugh Jackman. You know Hugh Jackman? Of course. He lives in New York. He's on the flight. He's on the flight! Well, he's about to perform some of his greatest hits from The Greatest Showman. And, you know, there's a few Broadway classics in there as well. He's about to perform some of his greatest hits from the... <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. Listen. Everyone, Hugh Jackman here. I'm, I'm so excited to be returning to my theatre roots. Is there space for one more? Uh, oh, well, yeah, mate. I'll, I'll find out. Can you wait a minute? Of course. I'll just put you on hold. Sir, you must turn off your electrical device no, immediately. Just, he's Sir, turn it off. Okay. Good evening, sir. We've arrived. viewers and the wait is finally over central park rangers that's right the reveal has happened at long last and we are in north america for the north american database a custom database which we're playing this year on fm19 as my main save there's going to be over 100 episodes of this so lock yourselves in get your seat belts on much like i did in the intro and uh strap yourselves in for uh, hopefully one of my favorite and best series yet uh, if you're excited for it and want to know more drop a like come on let's try and break records if you enjoyed the intro and you're looking forward to the save get a like dropped on this video and of course make sure you subscribe because of course so i've no doubt you 
people have lots of questions, and some of which will be answered at the end of this video, uh, as well as a giveaway for Football Manager 2019. A copy of that will be going to you as well. Uh, we'll sort it out through Twitter. But here we are then. Uh, Chris Locklear has welcomed me to Central Park Rangers. He is the uh, the, the, the given chairman. Uh, just you will, we, Everyone will have different chairmen. It's adding key staff and players and things like that. You have to do that at the start of a new database, and I haven't given uh, Central Park Rangers a load of players. There are a couple of people that were free agents that we've scattered across some of the teams in this division, and Central Park Rangers have benefited from a couple of those. Some pretty average ones, as I'll show you uh, probably in tomorrow's video when we go through the team in more detail. Uh, hopefully, they will have given me some other players, though, and I don't know who they are yet, so it's time for us to discover things. Uh, Central Park Rangers, then, will start their campaign in the USL League 2. Now, that is the sixth tier from a possible seven available to me. It's similar to a Vanarama North or South team, uh, if you're comparing it to England. And Central Park Rangers are going to be situated in there to begin with, and hopefully will uh, we'll battle their way, way up. You've got teams like Bethlehem in there, Las Vegas in it too, uh, as well as some sides, as mentioned before, from uh, Mexico, Canada, and the United States. It's a combination of all. This is a system now which integrates all of North America in terms of those three major countries, and it's going to be interesting to see how they work. If you want to see a little example of that, we'll go through uh, some of the databases. So there's the USL League One, the USL Championship, which then gets you to the North American Ascenso. Uh, you progress further from there to the North American Premiership, and then finally, the North American Super League. Now, uh, you can see there some sides that I'm sure will be familiar to you. David Beckham's into Miami makes it into the Super League and have been given a few players to help them at the start. We'll get more touch over that in an upcoming episode. Uh, America are in there as well. Toronto, of course. You've got Tigres. Loads of teams from, from Mexico, Canada and America scattered across these divisions. And it should make for something unique, something interesting and a really fun save. And that's the key thing. I want this to be fun. There will be a video later this week highlighting all the things that you might be interested in. Uh, and of course, this database at some point will be available to you. Stay till the end. Now, despite being a little bit lower down, I want there to be a financial stability to every team in the lower leagues. I don't want any team to be suffering and going out of business from the very start. I want it to all happen organically from the beginning. Everyone's on a very level playing field. Finances have to be adapted for things like travel as well. Of course, going to Mexico, going to Canada, it costs a little more than if you're going from, say, uh, across London for, for a game. It's a little different when you're, when you're encapsulating so many different places. Luckily, big shout out to American Airlines who are sponsoring this, not officially. Uh, if you want to give me some free flights, though, please do. I will say those rights are up for, up for grabs if anyone wants those. Twitter, add up to Benji. But yes, £1.5 million is in the balance sheet. Uh, there is a wage budget, though, uh, which we have to adhere to, which limits basically everything. Uh, there's a league wage budget in the first few divisions, which we basically have to adhere to. And then beyond that, we kind of get to do whatever you want. The top three tiers is basically a free-for-all. But obviously, if you get relegated from those top three tiers into our world of, uh, of wage caps and salary caps, then... Good luck. Let's start then with the rules for this lower down. And again, if you basically success is rewarded in the lower leagues uh, in, in this database. And, and if you can survive and be successful, then you will get cash injections along the way. £100,000 per win, uh, much like in the cup competitions you see, 50 for a draw and 20 for a defeat. So even if you're losing games, you're still getting a little bit of a cash injection there. You're not going to be completely hamstrung by being completely unsuccessful, but you won't have the same resources available to you if you are successful. Um, it, it, it makes for a very interesting save. And you might think, well, some teams are going to have more money, but that's where the cap comes into play and it restricts them. It means that if you end up being promoted, you don't just get battered by these teams that have got limitless budgets. So the top two teams will gain promotion and that's obviously what we're going to aim for in season one. Or I think we might be in this division for a little while. We're going to be in this division for a little while. Uh, teams placed third to sixth will go into a promotion playoff and the teams 18th to 19th will be in a relegation uh, playoff as well. It's going to be interesting. There's different rules for different leagues. Uh, not all leagues are exactly the same. For example, if we take you up to uh, around this area, uh, 15th and 16th qualify for relegation playoff. They all play off against each other and they will go down. Uh, interestingly, the top division, and I want to make this clear at the very start of the save, and the top six teams qualify for a championship playoff and playoff. So you can finish sixth and still be the champions of the North American Super League. We had to make it a little bit stateside. You know, we had to do that a little bit. There's loads of different elements in this database though, and I can't wait to show you with the more, but whether it goes for the USL Cup to the Twitch TV tournament um, or the North American Championship. Champions League that we've got going on as well. There is loads in there to get involved with. And again, I'll, I'll focus on... I can't do it all in today's episode. There's loads to go through. But it's safe to say, folks, that I am extremely...
extraordinarily excited. Uh, there's a tactics induction, which frankly, I don't think I need anymore. And um, there's some signs that have come in then. Uh, some of these guys that are welcomed into our side. Uh, you can see there's some players here uh, that are sort of average to middling. They're not terrible players. They're not fantastic players. But again, it's, it should be quite leveled off amongst all the teams in this division, just to give everyone a little bit of a base. A lot of these sides are either new or newly formed or solo down. They don't have players or football manager, so we've had to assign free agents of a lower level to some of these teams. And because Inter Miami are a newly formed side, we had to give them a couple of players to help them out. Uh, one of those players is Marwan Fellaini. That's right. Manchester United Connections, you know? Let, he's a big he's a big dog who needs a, needs a home where he's appreciated, you know? All right, let's take a quick little look through my team then. Uh, of course, you're, you're given, if you, you've got to add players, uh, add players to playable teams at the very start of the game to give yourself the option. Again, something we'll run through when it comes to it. Um, but hopefully we've got a few players in here that are decent. The top one is, uh, is Sandoval. I love the fact we've got a Sandoval. Again, not fantastic though. 17 years of age. Quite a bit of potential, but doesn't look uh, like a world beater, it has to say. Under 21 level. Uh, there's a couple of guys here. He in particular. Uh, Jonathan Caraccio. John, we're going to call him, I think. Uh, it looks okay. Again, not amazing. 16, though. Actually, could be a bit of a star for me. A few other players in there that might be quite good. Uh, yeah, all right. We've got something to work with there. Something to base ourselves off. These are the originals as well. There's a player called Randy Shaw, for heaven's sake. Oh, yes. Oh, I already love it. What are the chances of getting a player called Randy? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm in love. There may well be a few more things generally that you're interested in. So we start off as a semi-professional side, as I say, in the sixth tier, which is very common. Uh, we've got an average season ticket price of just under £100. Although, actually, folks, let, let, let me stop everything right there. It's a new world, viewers. It's a new world, and we're going to the US dollar. There we go. Sorry, it's $124 per season ticket. A bargain. You've got say, £8 per ticket as well. 500 season ticket holders in a stadium that sits around 3,000 with 1,000 standing as well, if needs be. Uh, in terms of facilities, I'm sure you're going to be interested. Uh, we play at the Great Lawn. Hopefully you got a, a little view of it uh, at the intro. It probably won't look identical to that in-game because of its swirl. That's a t look, ignore that. Just uh, you have to learn to ignore it. Uh, the pitch condition is perfect. We've got fairly basic corporate facilities, adequate training facilities, and below average youth facilities. Hopefully, just stuff that we can improve as we go through. I don't want to start with like a, like a really good academy and things. I want to build it up from the ground, and then hopefully by the end of the save, we can look back and go. Remember when it was at sort of the bargain basement levels of everything, and all of a sudden we're top dogs and we're we're thriving with players coming through our academy. That's the dream, uh, but it's going to take a few years to get to that stage, even close to that stage. Part of this, folks, and I want I want to make this clear. Is I want to in this database. This again, you've got to remember, it, it's, it's for fun, right? I want to make America a bit of a powerhouse in in, in football or in soccer ball. If you're watching it in America, and um, I want to make them a bit of a powerhouse, and this is one of the ways I think we can do that. Giving them a promotion relegation system. Um, I, I want to make it different. I want to make it interesting. I, hopefully, you, you'll find it unique, and hopefully, you'll want to see this and think, I want to give this a go and see what it's like. Um, but that's going to bring us to the end of episode one. I know we've not covered a great deal. There's so much to talk about when you create a completely new database. There's so much to go through, uh, whether it be our nickname, which is the Rangers, uh, you've got the, the Rochester rivalry, you've got uh, rivalries with all the New York sides, of course you have, and uh, yeah, there's loads to go through. Staff, I think we should have a couple of staff members, although not a massive amount, we're given a few uh, from the get-go, and Chris Locklear, which is quite a nice American-sounding name, is our chairman, hopefully he'll be happy with what we do. Uh, we're on quite a lot of money there, this has happened before, it might it might destroy the club, I guess we'll be okay though, financially we're looking okay. Um, right, that's going to bring us to the end. Financial stability is the name of the save as well. And uh, I mean, that's not the whole name of the save. It's called Central Park Rangers, uh, the, the North American journey. And uh, yeah, if you're excited to see more, be back tomorrow. 5 p.m. every single weekday. This series will be in front of your eyes. And we love it with care. For the so next time, I'm nervous, I'm excited, and I hope you are too. Here we go. Okay, folks, I did mention, uh, folks, I did mention towards the start of the episode that you're going to have questions. Uh, will the database be available? It will first be available to Patreons, uh, then it'll be available to Twitch subs, uh, for people that have been subscribed to that, and then it'll be available to everybody within about a month's period. So if you what, like, if you feel like you've got to wait, then you might have to wait. There's still a little few things I want to test and make sure it's absolutely perfect for everyone as it goes out to everybody. Uh, this is the best version I think we can ever get that I've had people testing it before. Um, giveaway, of course. Uh, retweet the tweet in the description to be entered. Uh, we'll announce that winner on Friday, at the start of Friday's video, hopefully. And uh, yeah, do a copy of Football Magic 2019 if you wish. If you've got any other additional questions about the save in general, get in the comment section down below or just please let me know what you think. Did you enjoy the intro? Did you enjoy the series? Are you excited for the series? I'm ready to go. I've been waiting a while for this. I didn't upload much last month. Here we go. I'll see you soon. Ha <laughs> ha, here we go. Come on.